Animals move in search of food, water, shelter or to protect themselves. They also move for reproduction. This movement of an organism from one place to another is called locomotion. Animals without the backbone are called invertebrates. Let's find out how locomotion happens in invertebrates. At the end of this module, you will be able to describe the organs of locomotion in invertebrates, understand how these organisms move from one place to another using their locomotory organs. This unicellular organism is called amoeba. Can you see the protruding structures on its body? They are extensions of their cytoplasm and not permanent structures. That is the reason why these extensions are called pseudopodia or false feet. That's a paramecium and the amoeba has sensed it. Watch how amoeba scuttles across with its pseudopodia to engulf and digest its prey. The paramecium has tiny hair-like structures lining its body. They are called cilia. Watch the wave-like movement of cilia. This movement allows the paramecium to swim. This movement of the cilia is called ciliary locomotion. Euglena is a freshwater microscopic animal. It moves forward in a spiral path. The hair-like structure at its anterior side is called flagellum. A flagellum helps the euglena to swim through water. Is this hydra doing a somersault? Well, in fact, this is how a hydra moves. It puts its tentacles onto the seafloor and then leans and puts its body onto the seafloor, making the movement look like a somersault. A hydra can swim too. Earthworms have circular and longitudinal muscles on their body. Earthworms move with the contraction and relaxation of these muscles. This is how they create a wave with their muscles to move through the soil. Grasshoppers are insects that have long muscular hind legs adapted for jumping. They also have two kinds of wings, fore wings and hind wings. The hind wing is used for flight. The fore wing is only used to protect the hind wing. Unlike the insects, spiders have eight legs and no wings. Each of the spider leg consists of seven segments. When walking and running, spiders alternate their four pairs of legs. The special hair at the end of their legs have microscopic feet that allow them to grip onto horizontal and vertical surfaces. Does a starfish move or is it stationary? The answer is that the starfish can move and that too very fast. Can you see the tiny tube-like organs on the underside of this ray of a starfish? These are tube feet which help them to walk around or attach themselves tightly to a rock. 
sponges are marine animals that attach themselves to rocks, twigs and shells. Sponges have no muscles to allow them to move. They are stationary or sessile organisms. Here's a summary of the locomotory organs in the invertebrates that you just studied.